All right, so one of the things that you must be able to do in both geometry and trigonometry is solve triangle problems. Now, when you study geometry, the triangle problems that you solve are pretty easy. You use things like the Pythagorean theorem and some other basic concepts of triangles. But when you get into things like trigonometry, well, triangle problems get much more challenging. And you're going to need to know things like the law of sines and cosine. And uh, what I have for you here is a, uh, an example problem of using the law of sine. So it would basically go something like this. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the solution to this problem here in just one second. But let me go ahead and set this up. So we want to solve this triangle. And we're given that angle A is 72 degrees. Angle C is 50 degrees. And uh, A, side A, is 40 units long. So what you need to do is figure out uh, this triangle. Where is A? Where is B? Where is C? And to solve a triangle means that you need to actually figure out um, all the degrees of each angle and all the sides. So this can get pretty complicated. And again, you're going to be using things like the law of sines and cosines to figure this out. This is a pretty involved process. Matter of fact, let me show you the law of sines here. So this is the law of sine, sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Now, the solution to this video actually comes from my um, pre-calculus course. So this is one problem of many uh, to include full uh, lesson instruction. So um, this particular problem, again, is uh, only one segment of a bigger section that I teach in my pre-calculus course. So if you need additional help, with trigonometry or the law of sines or cosines, things like that, then in the description of this video, you'll see a link to my pre-calculus course. All right, so uh, enjoy this video and hopefully you're going to uh, learn a thing or two about the law of sines. We're given an angle, uh, 72. We're given another angle, 50 degrees. So 72 degrees, 50 degrees. And here we got a length of 40 for A. Now, here are the answers if we want to go ahead and uh, check your solution here on, on this particular problem. But this is an angle-angle side scenario. Now, the first thing that you want to do is draw a sketch. And here, um, I just sketched freehand a triangle. And you should do the same thing. I'm not using a ruler. It doesn't have to be perfect. But what you really want to do is kind of play around with your your sketches until you get something that you think is fairly representative of um, the given information. So let's see here, okay? So I have an angle 72. So if I draw angle A, I'm not gonna make angle A look like this. That's not 72, right? 72 is much more open like so, okay? So you wanna have your angle A kind of looking like this. And then we have another angle 50. So 50 might be somewhere in between like so, not quite like a 45. So play around with your sketch until you get something that, that pretty much, you know, um, looks or, you know, is representative, as accurate as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect now, but you don't want to just have any old triangle with angles in there because the results can confuse you. And if you do a pretty good job with your sketch, you can kind of, you know, reality check your answers as well. Really comes in handy. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and start off. So I have um, an angle at 72 degrees. That's angle A. And then I have another angle, uh, 50 degrees. And I'm giving uh, the information, the length for A. So let's call this here A. So A is going to be 40. So that's what I'm given right now. But if you look here, I have two angles of the triangle. So it's not going to be a problem for me to find that third angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that third angle. All right, so very easy, right? So just uh, take these two angles, subtract uh, take 180, subtract away these two angles, and you get angle B being 58. Now, at this point, I'm looking to say, okay, what can I do now? Remember, the next thing you want to do is uh, just find a pair of, you're looking for an angle and a its uh, respective side. Okay, you need that that pair in order to really start solving the triangle using the law of um, sine. So here I have 72, 
and I have 40 that's all I need I can create this uh, nice ratio right here and now that I have all the other angles I can go get the remaining sides which are going to be B and C so let's go ahead and find uh, length C first so we have to use 50 degrees okay so sine of 50 degrees with this respective side C right here okay once I set that up I'm going to go ahead and solve for C all right so hopefully at this point all of you are professionals at uh, because you watch the lesson right and reference the lesson we're going to use the cross product so C times sine of 72 degrees will be this and then 40 times sine of 50 degrees will be so and let's uh, solve for C by dividing both sides of the equation by sine of 72 then I go into my calculator very carefully I plug all this in and you'll get approximately 32.22 okay so what is that okay well we just solved for this length here in the triangle length C okay so now we need to get uh, that uh, length right here length B and I think that'll uh, be it for this triangle all right so let's keep our same proportion we can keep using this right here this sine of 72 over 40 or I could have used now sine of 50 over 32.22 so if you used a different um, setup that's perfectly uh, fine it's not a big deal because um, remember the law of sine says you can use any um, ratio because all three um, angles and their respective sides are proportional okay that's what the law of sine says but we'll stick with this information because I already have it now I'm going to uh, look here and I have to um, see okay angle B is 58 degrees so I'm solving for side B so I have to use its respective angle B okay so carefully you know make sure you have the problem set up correctly so that's going to be sine of 58 over length B again I'm going to go ahead and use the cross product here so B times sine of 72 degrees 40 times sine of 58 degrees I'm going to divide everything by sine of 72 I get this plug it into my calculator and I get approximately 35.67 okay and that is it so we got uh, all our lengths and we have all of our angles and so by definition we have solved the triangle.